This is Don Arnold, W6GPS, and today we're going to demonstrate the AvMap G5 text messaging protocol. Uh, we'll be using a TinyTrack uh, 4 for the TNC. Uh, the radios are a Kenwood K2, uh, a uh, Kenwood V71 with a TinyTrack attached to it in a data port, and we're using the uh, Kenwood 710. So we have taken and implemented some of the fleet management uh, features and adapted it into the AvMap uh, protocol text sentence. So today, here's what we have. We have the setup all here, and uh, we'll do a few close-ups just to uh, let you see uh, how closely it works. So first of all, there are several ways to initiate the messaging. Uh, you can go to the uh, APRS uh, folder, go to contacts, and uh, so we have several uh, uh, APRS stations on here. So what we're going to go down here is we're going to uh, my call W6GPS, which is the uh, 710. Uh, you could say right here it says send message, and I can just make we'll just make a simple uh, message. Hi, Don. Uh, initiate the message by hitting the send button. And uh, the Kenwood uh, 710 uh, sends the message, but also it will send an acknowledgement back. So let's say I want to respond back to uh, this unit right here. Let me just put it back on the map, back onto the map. I can go in here to uh, the 710 under message, and I'm just going to do a simple... Hi. We've sent a message back to uh, the station right here. There's an acknowledgement, and we go into the messaging, and there's our message. I hit the read button. Hi. I hit reply, and uh, I can send another message. How are you? Again, this is very, very basic that we're doing right here. Uh, hit the send button right here and goes back to the 710. But also what happens here, there's a list there and there was an acknowledgement. There's a little check mark that uh, the AvMap received an, an acknowledgement from the uh, 710 setup. The other way of initiating a message with the uh, AvMap G5 and uh, AvMap text protocol is uh, actually by selecting uh, a APRS station uh, right on the screen. So uh, let me just zoom back a little bit. There's my call sign right there. And I could zoom in. And it says W6GPS. Uh, so I've, I've, in, I've started the text uh, initiation right from the screen. Push the send message. And uh, I'll just put another message here. Good day. Done. Go over here to the green button, which starts it up, and then when you send it, the uh, 710, you heard it, the 710 picked up the message, and then uh, uh, I could read it. So let me go back to the screen, back to our screen right here, and I'm just going to go ahead and reply to this message. Okay, there you go. There you go. We got a message back, and uh, there's a little envelope right there, and that's to let you know that a message has arrived. And it's W6GPS, and I can read it, and it was just a simple message. I can reply to it, okay. And you saw the envelope uh, as a sent message, but when the mark was checked, then uh, that, that lets you know that the message has gone out. Okay, so what I've done is, is I'm sending a message back to W6GPS4, uh, which is, the, um, which is the, uh, the K2 and the G5 AvMap. And I want you to watch what happens here. I send out the message.
messages being processed. But the other thing is, is the uh, protocol from the uh, AVMAP sends an acknowledgement back to the 710, back to the station where it was initiated. That way, uh, the person that sends the message out, just like a 710 talking to another 710 or, or another station talking to another station, the, the uh, G5 uh, texting protocol also includes uh, acknowledgements. The third way you can initiate a text message, because maybe you don't have a contact out there, uh, uh, maybe you don't see his uh, APRS mark on the screen, but you can go into the menu, go into APRS, uh, go into new message, uh, you can enter your message, uh, uh, let's just make it real simple, need you Kevin. Okay, so I've, I written my message, need you Kevin. But Kevin's not on the screen or he's not in my marks, so what do I do? I go to New Contact, and then I manually will enter in. Okay, just so that uh, you're not confused watching this video, uh, we're going uh, to send this message that I initiated to Kevin uh, to the other G5 with the uh, V71 attached to the data port of the TNC. Okay, so we've got our message entered. And I just want to let you see what happens on the screen here when we send, uh, when we send the message. There, there we go, right there. Uh, Kevin, KI4LEX, has a message. Then we go inside the message box. We can read the message. Uh, need you, Kevin. I kind of misspelled it, but that's okay. So I hit reply and I'll... I'm just going to go ahead and send a reply back. Okay, send it. K I four L A X. And we get an acknowledgement. Now, another feature that we want to talk about is uh, forward. You can actually do a, a forward message operation. So I've selected a, a message, W six GPS dash four. Uh, I've read the message, need you Kevin. Now there's a forward button right down here and what I can actually do is send it to another station. So I'm going to send it to the uh, to the uh, 710 which is the radio here in the in the center. All right, so I'm I'm going to uh, send it um, back and uh, pull back Kevin just a little bit all right so what I'm going to do is I want to send a message actually it was a message that was sent to me but I want to forward it uh, to another station okay so we sent it from KI4 LAX uh, to W6 GPS on the 710 so that's kind of a new feature or interesting feature what we've added to the AVMAP uh, G5 text protocol. Thank you very much for your attention, and we appreciate it. Thank you.